happy people i'm back with another video and today i have a poly gel tutorial for you all i'm super excited you all know i have been trying to perfect my poly gel application I had a few trial and errors um, but today i'm going to be testing out a new kit so double dip aka bella vena was also kind enough to send me one of their poly gel kits they let me pick out one from the website and i picked out the dazzling poly gel kit and i want to unbox it with you all here on camera to see the beautiful colors that's included and then we're going to hop right on into this tutorial let me go ahead and take the plastic off here and then we'll take a moment for this packaging okay because it is beautiful this is some gorgeous packaging it looks really nice and really luxe so again this is the bella vena poly gel kit in dazzling Ooh, wow this is gorge so it says bella vena oh hey beauty life is not perfect but your nails can be i know that's right okay i love this packaging this is absolutely stunning oh my goodness let me zoom out some so y'all can really get a good look here this is really beautiful packaging okay it says it's time to nail it Oh, cool. Okay, so they have like a little chart here that says, um, get to know your shapes. So it talks about the different shapes. You got normal, round, oval, all the way up to the lipstick, which I have never tried. I've never tried Flair. I haven't tried Ballerina, but I think I would like it. Mountain Peak? I really wanna try Edge too. Okay, this is pretty cool. So my go-to typically is Square or Scoville, and sometimes I'll do a short stiletto um if i'm not rocking my natural nails this is pretty cool i like this and then it talks about how long the nails are so let's see how long my nails are so they're about one inch long you guys y'all see this i'm out here rocking one inch nails okay who would have thought i normally usually rock half an inch rock half an inch and that's like my natural nail so that's pretty cool oh and in case you all are wondering i do have a tutorial on this set that i did so i'll leave that link in the description so yeah that's pretty cool i like that they included this i'll be keeping this here at my nail desk um these are the beautiful colors look at these y'all this packaging is absolutely stunning okay this is really beautiful so this is a essentially a glitter collection um, so they are sealed. I'm gonna come back to the poly gels for shortly because I do want to swatch them for you all. And let's just look inside and see what we have here. So we have the instructions that tell you how to use it. Okay, so that's cool. And then I also have, I really like this box. I'm definitely gonna be keeping this. And I also have a discount code um, as well. So make sure you all use that. Um, it is Rosa20. Let's see, okay. Oh, we have rhinestones, okay. Me likey, me likey. Okay, so we have a mini LED lamp, which is awesome and perfect. So I'll be using this to cure the poly gel since it came with the kit here. So we have that, that's pretty nice. It's a cute little lamp, y'all. Those are the LEDs that it come with. It comes with the cord. It does have a slip solution. It comes with the little clamps to help you keep the nails in place. I'm so excited it comes with some rhinestones. Y'all know me and my rhinestones. I be all about that rhinestone life, okay? So this is what they look like. It has some light blue, some clear ones. We got some cute pink ones and some all black ones. I actually don't have any all black rhinestones, so that's really cool to have. The kit also comes with um, a nail file. I'm assuming this 100, 180 grit. And then it has the poly gel brush which is really pretty it's white with that gold trimming and it has the brush on one end and the spatula on the other end we also have the dual forms um, which i don't know that people really use anymore but they are included in the kit and then we have a base coat and top coat okay this packaging is really cute all right and then we also have some tweezers so Wow, these are really pointy tweezers. I like that. So yeah, you get a lot of items here with the kit for sure. And then let me go ahead and swatch these poly gels for you guys. I'm super excited about this. Okay, so these are all the colors that we're going to be swatching. I went ahead and broke all the seals to all of them just so that we can save a little bit of time here on camera. I do have my swatch sticks all labeled and ready to go. So let's hop right on into this oh again i really do like the packaging on these i think they are super cute i think they are smaller though than like the normal size of poly gels um but with poly gel you really don't need a lot i feel like a little goes a long way so these are 15 gram um tubes so i'm gonna go ahead and squeeze a little bit onto the swatch stick here let me see if i can get it to focus so that 
you all can see this beautiful color. Wow, that's a beautiful color. Okay. And I think that's about enough to get the whole entire nail cover here. This is a really beautiful glitter. Wow, I haven't even swatched it yet. And I'm like, this is gorge. They seem pretty easy to work with. I think they're of a stiffer consistency, which is pretty nice. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, this is beautiful. Okay. Okay, so that's one swatch here. That is a gorgeous color. I just wanted y'all to see how that maneuvered while I was getting it ready on the swatch stick here. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the rest of them off camera and I'll be right back. One, two, eight is this really pretty purple glitter color. Okay, so that's what this looks like. It is absolutely stunning, you guys. I love this so much. Wow, all of these colors are just like really, really gorgeous. So that's the 128. Then we have the 129. So the 129 is kind of like a pinky, like a light pink type glitter. So that's what it looks like in the tube. And then this is it swatched. It is absolutely gorgeous. Like, I'm really loving all of these glitters. I actually don't have any glitter poly gel, so but when they asked me which ones I wanted, I definitely had to go for this Dazzling collection because it is stunning. So here is 130, okay? And this is what 130 looks like. Now this is a really beautiful chunky glitter that's rose gold. This is probably my favorite color that's in the collection to be honest with you. It is just so beautiful. Yeah, I love it. So that's that one. And then we also have 132. They don't have 131 in this collection. That's the green. This green is beautiful too. Look at this. Beautiful glitter. Nice chunky ones in there too. A little bit of hollow on a few of them. Like this is, this green would be perfect for St. Patrick's Day. So I might be doing me some St. Patrick's Day nails with this y'all. So stay tuned for that for sure. Um, we have a 133, and this is like a really beautiful like aqua blue, and this right here, y'all, I'm looking like, this feels like I am swimming in the sea, okay? Like, this is just breathtaking, oh my goodness. Yes, absolutely love that color too, and then the last one we have here in the collection is 136, which is a black glitter. Um, this black glitter also drew me to this collection. This is what the black glitter is looking like. I love that it has those gold glitters in there. They have some chunky ones and some fine ones in there. I mean, this is just really pretty. That gold shift is everything, okay? So I'm like sitting here debating about how I want to do my nails. Okay, I'm back. So I've decided how I want to do my nails. So I am gonna go in with this pretty blue kind of aqua color here. That's color 133 from the kit. And again, that's what the swatch is just really really stunning so the inspiration for this was I actually have this color here and I wanted to do these nails before I went out of town to my trip to Nigeria and I didn't have an opportunity to because I filmed a vlog for you all um, of me getting my nails done there so be on the lookout for that but I wanted to do um, a blue nail with like some blue colored rhinestones. I want to do the variation of what I was what I was wanting to do um, with that set. So with that being said, I I did decide to go ahead and use these half tips right here. So these are like long square half tips. I am going to apply them using the Bella the double dip Bella Vina four in one base coat. This came with my mini nail tip kit. I do have a full review on that kit on my channel. I will leave that link in the description. This kit's only 20 bucks on Amazon and it's really good. So I'm gonna use that to apply my tips here. And I also have my Bella Vina LED mini LED lamp that also came with that kit that I was talking about. So let's go ahead and get started here. I have already applied my pill off base coat here to my nails. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and just apply my tips. 
So this is actually my first time applying um, half cover tips. So we're gonna see how this goes. So I'm gonna turn this lamp on here and get a little bit of gel here in the well. I feel like it's a pretty easy process. I've seen a lot of people do it, but I've just never done it on myself before. So let's see here. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of the gel and put it in the well here, like so. I think it's similar to just like going on a tip, right? But you're just using gel instead. So, okay, we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna press down and slide underneath the lamp. So press down like this and slide it underneath the lamp. Okay, so now that all of those have been applied, I'm gonna go in with this base coat again and just do a thin layer over all the nails. And I am gonna put this lamp to use. So I'm gonna go in with a thin layer of that base coat on all the nails here. And that's just to give the nails some more added strength. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and fully cure in this lamp for until it turns off. Okay, so I do plan to make these two nails glitter nails, and then the rest of the nails are gonna be solid. So this nail here, I am gonna go ahead and go in with the poly gel in color 133. Okay, and I'm gonna spread that over the entire nail. Actually, I'm gonna do the two bead method. So this is something that I learned from Nails by Nelly. Shout out to you, girl. So she kinda essentially applies a little bit to half of the nail scopes it out and then um, works on her apex after that. So I'm gonna try to channel my inner Nelly here to get this nail done. So let's see how that goes. And here's my slip solution here that came. And let's just see how that works. I do really like the consistency of this poly gel. So I'm just gonna pat it into place here. I do feel like this is a great consistency of a poly gel to work with. Like it's kind of on the stiffer side, which I actually prefer because, um, you know, I'm a newbie and I'm not that good at poly gel just yet, but I'm hoping to become really good one day. Um, but yeah, it seems like it's really easy to work with, really easy to maneuver around. Just gonna pat it in place and make sure it gets the right shape here. And bring it down some so that I can see as well. That looks good to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure this underneath the lamp. Okay, so that's what that's looking like. This is such a beautiful color. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my second bead here to see if I can build up my apex. And then I'm just gonna slowly build my apex. So I'm just pat down the back of the gel here. Okay, yeah, that's looking pretty flat here. Um, so I might have to go in with a third bead for my apex. Okay. That looks pretty dope. I think I like this method of applying poly gel over the lazy girl method, actually. I like this a lot. It seems much easier to work with and control, and it's not so messy. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try to smooth this on out because, you know, I need a third bead here. Okay, so that's that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. Okay, so this is what 
this color is looking like so far it's really beautiful so I'm gonna do one more bead I guess I'm gonna have to be a 3 bead kind of girl so that I can build up a little bit of an apex because y'all see how flat this nail is I'm talking no apex at all okay so I know I'm gonna take these right off so I could leave it like that but I want to try to practice my poly gel application of getting it done right you know so I'm gonna go ahead and pat around this bead to try to get it to lay flat okay I'm gonna go ahead and cure that in place because that is my little tiny apex that I have here. So that's what that's looking like and here's my apex here. So yeah, you notice there's a dip right here in that nail too. So as I was working on these nails, I realized that if I'm gonna have an apex on this nail, that means the rest of them, if I'm just gonna apply gel polish, I'm gonna get an apex. So I think I'm gonna have to go in with this again and I'm gonna actually try to build, oops, I'm gonna try to build up my nail a little bit um just so that like they're not so flat so we're gonna see how this works for me because i don't want to use another poly gel to be honest with you i just want to see how this this can work so i'm going to actually test this this product out to see if you can use it to build up an apex on the nail so let's see how that goes Like they work. I'm gonna flash cure this. Okay, so it seems like they worked a little bit. So I'm gonna try to build it up just a little bit more here. Yep, look at that apex. Cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna cure that. So I'm pretty happy with that. So you see how I was able to build a little bit of an apex on this nail. So I'm gonna go through and do that to the rest of the nail. So you see how flat this one is? So you see how flat this one is, right? And then you see how it has a little bit of an apex. So I'm gonna go through and build up the rest of these nails and then I'll be back to finish the rest of my design. Okay, so I went in and I built an apex on all of the rest of the nails. As you can see, all right, they have a little bit of apex. Although I forgot for this nail it was gonna be a glitter nail, so that might be a little bit thicker, but we are going to go ahead and continue on here. So I want to go ahead and apply, um, actually I want to go ahead and shape the nails. I know this is like all out of order y'all. I'm trying to figure out the best way <laughs> to do all of this, but I'm going to go ahead and spray all the nails down with alcohol and I'm going to do just a little bit of shaping so that I can go ahead and do the poly gel on this one and apply the gel polish to the other ones. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the um, poly gel on the pinky nail because that is the other nail that I wanted to do. So because the shape is already on the nail, I'm gonna go ahead and just apply poly gel to the entire nail. And I'm not gonna worry about building any structure or anything like that. And you know, this might be a hack y'all. So. Uh, so because there wasn't a lot of poly gel that color you know this is a hack to where if you maybe want to make your poly gel stretch maybe use some extend gel or builder gel underneath it to get a little bit more longevity out of it because now i essentially just had to apply a really thin coat of the poly gel and here it looks like i even applied too much but just a nice thin coat of it to the whole entire nail and i'm good to go so let's see here Side, top here. Oh, look at that. I'm missing the whole side over here. All right, that's why angles are important, okay? That whole side over here would have been bare. <laughs> it's funny. That's why you just move the product. This stuff is super easy to work with, though. I really like this poly gel a lot. So that's how these two nails are looking. I'm feeling pretty good about the shaping here. So it was a little bit of a struggle. It wasn't done in like a good particular order, but I like how this looks. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my blue gel here. I'm 
wanna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. That is what the first coat is looking like. I'm gonna go in with the second coat of that gel polish. So this is what they are looking like thus far. I am absolutely loving it. So y'all know me, a set would not be complete if we didn't add a little bit of bling, a little bit of charm ac action or whatnot. So I am gonna use the bling that came in the kit. I really wanna use, um, I actually, so I was gonna use the blue, but then I realized I've never actually used clear crystals. So I'm gonna try to put these clear crystals to use along with this cute little teddy bear charm that I have. You all know I've been dying to do some teddy bear nails, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this beautiful teddy bear on. And I am going to go ahead and use their 4-in-1 base coat to adhere it. So that's what I'm going to do here. So on my ring finger, I'm going to apply just a little bit of that gel here, like so. All right. And then I am going to just place the teddy bear on the nail right in there, like so. Okay. And then once I have it where I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and flash cure that in place. Okay, so that's been cured into place. Look at my cute little teddy bear, y'all. Loving him, loving him, okay? And then next, I'm just gonna apply just like a line of clear rhinestones just up the center of this nail. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so I actually had the clear crystals on, but I like the blue better, so I'm gonna go in with the blue. And we'll just do the same thing. Just go ahead and place it here on the nail. That little line right up the middle. Yeah, the blue looks way better. Okay. Just make sure it's inside that gel here. Get it all lined up. And then give it a good cure. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this in place. Okay, so the rhinestones have been adhered into place and y'all, she looking real cute, real bling blingity, and real glittery. I am loving this poly gel, okay? So I did go ahead and do my thumbnail off camera. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna be honest, the shaping of these nails, they ain't, it ain't the best, okay? So I definitely need to work on my shaping with not only the poly gel, but also with that four in one base coat, but um, overall, I think I did pretty good. I don't think they look horrible, but the shaping could definitely be better. So last thing left for me to do is just go in with some top coat here. So I am gonna apply the Double Dip Bellavina top coat to all the nails. I'm gonna go ahead and do the poly gel nails first because those are gonna be the easiest to do because it's just top coating, wow. Y'all see how that glitter just came to life when I put that top coat on? Holy smokes, this is beautiful. Wow, this is some gorgeous glitter as well. I'm actually gonna go ahead and top coat the bear as well just to kind of seal in its color. So I'm just gonna do like a really thin layer all over the nail here, all over the bear, just to kinda get it sealed in. All right, you guys, ain't she cute though? Okay, so I am absolutely loving my cute little teddy bear, BLC. Yeah, he cute though, he cute. Got our little rhinestones here, and y'all, this glitter is absolutely stunning. Like, I love it, okay? I love it. So, a few things to note here. I don't know what happened with the thumbnail, but there is like little bubbles in the top coat, but that didn't happen when I applied the top coat to the rest of the nail, so I'm not sure what happened there. But um, yeah, absolutely loving how this set looks. It is so beautiful and so pretty, like, ugh. Those glitters are everything. Like, yeah, I'm loving that. I am loving it, okay? Like, take me to the sea and let's swim, okay? I am getting beach vibes from this. I am getting, I'm at the ocean. I am getting cuteness with the teddy, okay? Um, so yeah, um, the other thing is the shaping of these nails, you guys. I know they're not perfect. They are not the best. 
this is not my best work all right um, as far as shaping is concerned that's something that I really I want to focus on more this year because I rely heavily on full cover tips which is what these are and I really would like to learn how to do a little bit more shaping but I think I did pretty good for my first time applying poly gel over top of uh, half tips as well as um, using this base this uh, the double dip Bellavina 4-1 base coat as a builder gel in a sense to build the apex on these nails so it wasn't like perfect but I think it was fun to kind of test out and play around with so yeah overall I do like this poly gel kit I feel like their poly gels are really good to work with um, they're of a stiffer consistency which makes it really easy for me to use um, and then I also really liked their slip solution I'm pretty sure it's just alcohol but um, let's see it smells good it doesn't smell like straight alcohol I don't know what they put in this but it it's actually to me a little bit better than using alcohol because it didn't I feel like it didn't it wasn't like too dry so alcohol I feel dries pretty quick and then the, the poly gel gets sticky I feel like that didn't do that so I actually really like their slip solution these are the nails um, thank you again to double dip for um, sending me these products to review I absolutely love these poly gels um, and I'm excited to try more from you guys Guys. Um, I had a lot of fun making this set um, even past all these struggles um, yeah it took me a long time to film this actually because my little one kept waking up and things like that but happy I got this set done oh you can hear her in the background now um, happy I got this set done and I'm loving how it turned out so let me know what you guys think about it so last thing left for me to do is just all these cuticles okay Yeah, you guys, she cute. So I am gonna leave all the products that I use linked down in the description below. Um, I do have a 20% off discount code with Double Dip. Uh, my code is Rosa20. So make sure you all use that if you all shop on their website so that you can take advantage of those savings because y'all know me, I like to save my coins too, okay? Okay. If y'all wanna know how I achieve this look, I do have a full tutorial on this set as well. I am gonna leave it down in the description box below. But yeah, y'all. She turned out real cute. I'm loving it. I am loving it. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday Thursdays in particular are my nail therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails And yeah, if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family I love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video I hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day. Bye